Today we rode about seven and a half miles from Virginia Key Park. It's only a small symbol how far we've come as a community and how far we still have to go when it comes to sharing our roads. Some of you know that I was a patient here at the Ryder Trauma Center long before I worked at Jackson. I want to tell you that firsthand what happens when road sharing doesn't work. It's, this is an example of that in my hand. And I also know what it's like to be in the hands of riders, amazing doctors and nurses. I'm proud to be here this morning with other people who are also committed to both of our missions. There's simply no substitute for the 20 years of experience that riders' trauma teams have, have had and uh, second count when trauma happened. Uh, I can um, not tell you how many times I've heard Dr. Namaya say over and over again, if we need to coordinate something for tomorrow, we have trouble doing it. But if we need to coordinate something in the next 30 seconds, we have the entire team available. And that's what the trauma teams here at Jackson and, and Ryder and the University of Miami are. Um, you may hear about some of the differences between a level one trauma center and a level two, but Ryder is really above and made its own level. The teams here are completely dedicated to trauma. It's a resource we cannot afford to compromise. In a few minutes, you're going to hear from Endo Walsh. We can talk about what it's like to be a patient at Ryder because he's still recovering from his injuries from a crash earlier this year. You're also going to hear from Patty Cohen who suffered the unimaginable loss of her husband Aaron in that same crash and who is here to tell her story in hopes that no one else will have to live through it. But before I introduce them, I want to recognize a few of the great leaders who are part of today's event. One of the reasons we arrived here safely today was because we had a great show of support from both Miami-Dade Police and City of Miami Police. Can we give them a round of applause to all these guys? Thank you all for being here. We also had some of the doctors and nurses from our trauma center who are another group of unsung heroes. And we're honored to be recognizing them during this 20th anniversary of, of, of the writer. It is now my pleasure to introduce one of my great partners in the work that we do at Writer. I'm incredibly grateful that throughout long and sometimes difficult negotiations, he and I have never wavered on our commitment to the vital work that's done at Ryder in cooperation with Jackson and the University of Miami. In trauma, as in so many signature programs, the UM doctors are world-class leaders in cutting-edge medicine. I promised him that if he'd wear Jackson colors on his helmet, uh, that I'd be wearing the Dolphin Cycling Challenge on, on my behalf, and also my great friend, Jim Mandage, who I would happen to wear his number. Um, that's what I call teamwork. And I'm proud to introduce to you the dean of the middle, uh, middle, middle sorry, the dean of the Miller School of Medicine, Dean Pascal Koshkin. Thank you, Carlos, and thank you all for being here. And I certainly want to um, join the Carlos in thanking the uh, wonderful uh, escort of the uh, police of both um, Miami, uh, city of Miami, and Miami Dade County. It, it, it's wonderful to have your support, and we appreciate. It. Um, this, is a, this is a great day, it's a great event. Uh, it's extremely important to realize that the most efficient way to take care of trauma is to prevent trauma, is to avoid accidents in the first place. And there's nothing more important for the safety of, of uh, fellow um, uh, citizens in Miami and Miami-Dade to make sure that um, you know we we can uh, ride bikes in a safe way, in a way that is protected from uh, injuries, and um, I'm sure you will hear more about that. But that's really a, a huge priority if we want to prevent accidents. If there are accidents, frankly, the best place to be in the world is the city of Miami because of the Ryder Trauma Center of Jackson and the University of Miami. This is a this is an extraordinary trauma center. Um, uh, it has been selected by the military in the United States to train everybody uh, who is going to be dispatched to uh, uh, Iraq or Afghanistan uh, to uh, save lives of people who are, who are injured, the people who are protecting our life and our freedom, our military. And it's an extraordinary honor to have been for the past 10 years to place where we're trained our, our military. And this is just a, an example of the extraordinary resource that the Rider Trauma Center provides, not only to all of us uh, if we get injured. And uh, like Carlos, I came here one day uh, holding my, my young son in, in, in my arms to the Rider Trauma Center when 
he had injured uh, his arm and his wrist. And, uh, and it was wonderful to see the competence, the extraordinary talent of our, of our, our doctors, of our nurses. It's a great partnership between Jackson and the University of Miami. It's a great partnership uh, for the present, for the future, and it will always be there because it is so important for everybody to be able to come to that level of care in case of a dreadful situation like a substantial trauma. So from prevention, allowing, um, allowing uh, uh, our cyclists to be safe uh, in, in the city of Miami, in Miami-Dade County, in South Florida in general, uh, to action whenever an accident occurs with um, a partnership between the EMS and, and our great nurses, great uh, surgeons, great doctors, making sure that people are safe and well. Um, this is what the uh, Rider to My Center is all about. It's an extraordinary honor to partner with my friend Carlos Magoya and all of our uh, uh, partners at Jackson and the University of Miami to make sure that we provide the best possible care in the world. It's great to be here today, and um, again, thank you for participating in this great event. Thank you. Thanks, Pascal. In many ways, today is to celebrate the outdoor culture of Miami that includes so many bikers and runners and walkers. But it's also a day to remember what happens when tra tragedy strikes. For Patty Cohen to be here, speaking in front of all of you, so soon after she and her children lost Aaron, that's incredibly brave and a testament to how much she and her family care about this cause. And for that, we all really thank you. Patty. February 15th, my husband Aaron uh, was struck by a hit and run driver on, on the Rickenbacker Causeway. And he, he was brought here to the Ryder Trauma Center uh, because his injuries were, were so grave. Um, as his friends and family, uh, we had the peace of mind to know that he had the best chance of survival here as anywhere in the country in the, the most highly trained professionals. Unfortunately, the, the, next, the following day, he, he did die from his injuries. Um, so while well, Regrettably, I'm not here to tell you a story about how the amazing people at Ryder saved my husband. I, I'm here to tell you today about how they made the worst experience of my life a little bit better. Uh, the, the doctors, nurses, and the staff here uh, throughout the whole idea ordeal uh, really impressed me with uh, their compassion, uh, professionalism, and with empathy. I mean, when the doctors spoke to me, they spoke with such deep sympathy, yet directly and matter of fact. It, it brought clarity to the most confusing situation in my entire life. Uh, you know, they, when they looked me straight in the eye and told me what was going on, I could tell that they didn't see Aaron as just another trauma patient. Um, Aaron's story was tragic. It's horrifying, violent, horrible. Uh, the emotional toll is devastating beyond what I can even describe. Um, using my husband, father of my two young children, for me, it's the worst thing ever. But the, the folks here at Ryder see this kind of thing day in and day out, sadly. And somehow they return every day uh, treating the injured and treating their loved ones with an amazing um, empathy and with grace. And I really think that we are extremely fortunate to have them in the in, as part of our community. Morning, everybody. Thank you very much for turning up for the ride. I think a lot of people stayed in bed assuming because of the bad weather would be cancelled. So uh, thanks especially for those people who did bravely the element to come out and support the cause. I think it's very important that we as cyclists continue to promote the issue of road safety for cyclists, for pedestrians and runners. As much as we admire the staff of the Rider Trauma Center, none of us ever want to meet them in the way that Aaron has been. I think if we as cyclists want things to change in Miami, we have to be the agents of that change. We have to turn up and speak out, and we have to demand that change. I think we're all familiar with, and, and probably on occasion guilty of, sitting around complaining about something, and saying, this has got to change, and somebody must do something. When it comes to cycling and safety for cyclists, we're that something. It's me, and it's you, and it's my friends, and it's your friends. The cycling community in Miami is a very large community, same with the running community. If we act together and speak together, 
we have a very loud voice. And it will take a long time to change attitudes towards driving in Miami. But we need to concentrate on doing that. And we need to keep delivering the message. And I think the message to people is that share the road is not a slogan or a catchphrase. Share the road is a way of behaving. And we need to keep promoting that message until people learn it and understand it. Uh, good morning. Um, I'm a trauma surgeon here, and I also like to cycle for sports. And I would like to uh, uh, take the stage now and, and go ahead and propose something that uh, is available in other counties in uh, in Florida, Pinella. Pinellas County on the west coast has a 34-mile uh, bicycle trail, completely safe, nine bridges, and you can bike there. Uh, it's beautiful. It's above the water. Uh, California has a 45 miles uh, bicycle trail uh, on the sand. Uh, that I did this trail, both trails, uh, in the past, and uh, I would like to propose in this stage now that we have our own bicycle trail, there can be a three county or four county bicycle trail on the sand or anywhere where the mayors of the cities or of, of Miami, or Lauderdale, Palm Beach would decide that this uh, can happen and I think that would be a great uh, um, place and a safe place for us to continue uh, to ride our bicycles. Thank you very much. I'd like to introduce Dr. Nicholas Namias, the director of the Rider Trauma Center and the trauma surgeon here. Morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Nick Namias. I'm the chief of the Trauma Center. I've uh, been here since 1998 as a trauma surgeon. I, first of all, uh, ex express my deepest uh, sympathies to Mrs. Cohen and Mr. Walsh. Uh, but I thank everybody for coming out to do this ride this morning to support uh, bicycle safety and to support what we do here at Rider. Um, this is not a warning for, for me to make any big proclamations, but I will say that this, what you're seeing here, the rider trauma, is the is really the, the best embodiment of the union between UM and Jackson, where the two together do really great things together. Uh, anyway, thank you very much, and I'm looking forward to handing my beeper this morning to Dr. Lynn, because I was on call last night, he's coming on now. <laughs> Dr. George Garcia, a trauma surgeon at Ryder and also the director of the Army Trauma, Army trauma Training Center. You're in the right place. That's right, absolutely. Well, good morning. Um, uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, just say that I'm uh, deeply honored and humbled to be part of an experience like this and to remember it, Aaron. I actually arrived to the hospital, come on the call only about 45 minutes or so after he arrived. So I wasn't directly involved in his care, but I saw what had happened. And, um, I'm an avid um, cyclist in traffic too, and I'm on, out on the same roads as he was. Um, so um, I also share my deepest sympathy with you. I was asked this morning to just mention briefly the partnership between the Trauma Center and the University in Jackson and the United States Army. In early 2001, the United States Army con conducted a, a, a nationwide search uh, and evaluation of trauma centers to locate the best place to train um, our four surgical teams, which are small, uh, mobile, far forward surgical teams. And not surprisingly, the decision was made uh, to select the Rider Trauma Center as that training site. So in October of 2001, about one month after the devastating attacks of September 11th, Rider opened its doors to the Army, and the Army Trauma Training Center opened. Since that time, we trained over 104 surgical teams, which are 20 person teams. So we trained nearly 2,500. Army surgeons, nurses, anesthetists, and soldier medics to deploy to both Iraq and Afghanistan to take care of what I think is our nation's most precious resource. And that's resulted in part, anyway, in the highest survival rate of any war uh, that this country has ever been involved in, despite the most devastating injury patterns that we've ever seen since our nation entered armed conflict so long ago. So, on behalf of the United States Army, I'd like to thank Mr. Maloya, Dean Goldschmidt, and my partners at the Trauma Center for opening their doors. Currently, right now, we have a four surgical team here training, including their training over the next several days, preparing to deploy to Afghanistan. 
and they'll take the lessons they learned here, and I think if they learn even one thing, if one surgeon sees one thing or one nurse is just a little bit more prepared for what they're going to deal with over there, someone's son or husband or father has a better chance of coming home. So it means a great deal to me to work here and be partnered with, with these guys, and it means a great deal to our country. So thank you very much. Estamos aquí hoy celebrando el 20 de aniversario del Centro de Trauma de Ryder en Jackson, con los médicos de la Universidad de Miami. La gran sociedad que tenemos entre la Universidad de Miami y el Jackson es la razón que tenemos bueno, eh, la cumbre de, esta, de este gran centro de trauma que empezó hace 20 años atrás cuando ningún otro hospital en Miami Dade County quería tener un, un centro eh, de esta magnitud. Eh, gracias a, a, a este centro, hoy estamos entrenando también aquí cirujanos eh, de nuestros eh, servicios armados del de US Army, donde van eh, entrenándose aquí más de 2.500 cirujanos y médicos y eh, de US Army que han, han ido a Afganistán y Irak también para poder apoyar y salvar la vida de muchos de nuestros soldados que están eh, peleando eh, para la libertad de todos nosotros acá. Eh, Hoy estamos celebrando también lo que es el, el, la, lo que es el cuidado en, en, en bicicleta. Un día hoy, como con, con lluvia, es un momento muy importante para poder celebrar estas clases de peligro que hay afuera y saber que en todo momento, aunque tengamos un gran centro de trauma como tenemos aquí en el Rider Trauma Center, lo más importante es, es estar con mucho cuidado allá afuera en todo momento, eh, tenga sol o lluvia, para tener que prevenir eh, el caos. El, el, Incluyendo en eso, es muy importante estar seguro que no solamente eh, los ciclistas, sino también las eh, personas juntando los automóviles que den espacio a los ciclistas para que eh, todos podamos trabajar juntos y estar en buen entrenamiento donde todos, eh, donde todos podemos convivir y, y, y vivir un, en un lugar más saludable en Miami Dade County. ¿Cuánto Gracias. fue tan importante participar en esta running, en esta carrera? Eh, eh, participar aquí en este momento eh, ha sido muy importante para nosotros. Hemos tenido la sociedad de la, eh, la, eh, la ciudad de Miami, la policía de la ciudad de Miami y la policía de Miami Dade County ayudándonos y ha sido un gran evento considerando la lluvia y todo. Y, y, y para nosotros es un momento muy importante eh, como una comunidad de poder de reconocer lo que es el, el ciclismo, eh, el cuidado del ciclismo y a la misma vez reconocer nuestro centro de trabajo. Gracias. 